Hi everyone, I just quickly want to show you how to transfer your one inch grid to a one and a half inch grid on the substrate that you are painting on. So I have my thicker paper here that we are using for this assignment and I am going to use a ruler to not create a one inch grid but a one and a half inch grid. So that's going to blow it up just a little bit. Okay, so you will need a ruler you will need a pencil. That's what you're going to need for this part. I just want to show you very quickly on the ruler. This is a, a one inch ruler. Okay. And you are going to not measure at the one inch line, but you're going to measure at the one and a half inch line. And then you're going to have to do a little math here. So one and a half, then another one and a half would be three, then four and a half, then six, then seven and a half, then nine, some of you are going to need to stop here, but some of you might have enough room to keep going. So after that would be 10 and a half, then 12. Okay. You will end up with either a 9 by 12 or a 12 by 15 substrate. And now also if you have only access to a smaller paper, like an 8 and a half by 11, you'll just make it work in regard to the ruler and the measurement by doing a one inch grid and making an eight by 10. So let me repeat that so that you understand. If you have a larger piece of paper available to you, you will make a one and a half inch grid. If you only have like an eight by 10 or an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, like a regular piece of sketchbook paper, you will just transfer that one inch grid. So here we go. I'm gonna show you on my larger piece of paper and then I will show you on a smaller piece of paper. Okay, here we go. So one and a half inches. Now it's really important to know that you should always have two points of contact to make lines so that you ensure that they are straight. So I'm going to mark one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, 10 and a half and 12. So that's my 12. I'm going to do it again down here. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half, twelve. And then I'm going to connect those two points to create a straight line. Now I'm gonna draw a little bit darker so that you can see what I'm doing, but I would like you to draw as light as you possibly can so that it's a little bit easier for you to erase those lines when you need to. Okay, so I'm just coming through. I'm marking where my lines are. Again, if you have access to a larger paper, you're going to make a one and a half inch grid If you do not have access to a larger paper, if you only have an eight and a half by 11, like a size of a computer paper, you are just going to emulate that one inch grid that is on Google Draw. Okay, so I can show you that too. Now I'm just gonna go the other way. So I'm gonna repeat those numbers for you so that you can follow along. One and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half, twelve, thirteen and a half, and fifteen. So some of you may be stopping at this twelve. Some of you may be going all the way to fifteen. Some of you may be on something that's even larger, so you'll just continue. Okay. This can be a little confusing when we're not together, so it's okay. Don't worry about it. Just try your best. Again, I'm going to do a second point of contact. One and a half, three, Four and a half, six, seven and a half, nine, ten and a half, twelve, thirteen and a half, and then fifteen. Two points of contact. Gonna line that up. I'm gonna draw dark, but you're gonna draw light so that you don't take away from your composition. I'm trying to keep my head out of the video because I tend to do that. And when you are all done with drawing these grid lines, it will match up to your grid that was created in Google Draw. Whoa, that was a bad line. 
and then you will be able to focus on your proportion and your placement of your composition by use of a grid. Okay. I teach you how to do this for the first project. Some people really like it. Other people do not like it. You'll figure out what you like best as we keep going here in the semester. All right, so there's my grid that I'm going to follow along with. Okay. Let me quick grab a smaller piece of Good morning, attention staff. Staff, please remind.